Yeah, you're good. It's fine. Okay. You got me? Or else. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, during this most holy night when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites his children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. We remember his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. Let us pray as we bless this fire. Eternal God, who made the most holy night to shine with the brightness of your one true light, bless this fire lit to your glory. Set us aflame with the fire of your love and bring us to the radiance of your heavenly glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ, yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, all time belongs to him. To him be glory and power, for ever and ever, through every age. Amen. By his holy and glorious wounds may Christ our Lord guard us And bless us. the light of Christ rising in glory, banish all darkness from our hearts and minds. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. The light of Christ, thanks be to God. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels, exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendour, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you, darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exalting glory, the risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. My dearest friends, standing with me in this holy light, join me in asking God for mercy that he may give his unworthy minister grace to sing his Easter praises. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. 
It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast, when Christ the true Lamb is slain, whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery, and led them dry-shod through the sea. This is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin. This is the night when Christians everywhere, washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement, are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life have been to us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Most blessed of all nights, chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, the day will be bright as day, and it will become my light, my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes away guilt, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. It casts out hatred, brings us peace, and humbles our earthly pride. On this your night of grace, O Holy Father, accept this candle, a solemn offering, the work of bees and of your servants' hands, an evening sacrifice of praise, this gift from your most holy church. But now we know the praises of this pillar, which glowing fire ignites for God's honour, a fire into many flames divided, yet never dimmed by sharing in its light. For it is fed by melting wax, drawn out by mother bees to build a torch so precious. O truly blessed night, when things of heaven are wed to those of earth and divine to the human. Therefore, O Lord, we pray that this candle, hallowed to the honour of your name, may preserve undimmed to become the darkness of this night. Receive it as a pleasant, pleasing fragrance, and let it mingle with the lights of heaven. May the morning star, which never sets, find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star, which came back from the dead and shed its peaceful light on humankind, your Son, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him, grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. God the Father, by whose glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you now and always. Amen. I look forward to bringing this wonderful, beautiful new Paschal candle back into church as soon as we possibly can, when we will celebrate the mighty resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ as we regain our worship in church. Good night and God bless you.